So lovely to meet you both. Congratulations on another great film. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so your characters obviously make an amazing duo on screen, but I'm guessing that your experiences of making the film were poles apart, especially with the CG. So I'll start with you, Ben. Your facial expressions are being recorded as well as your voice. So can you see your own mannerisms in Sonic? And what is that like having known the character for so long before making the films? Yes, I, that's so funny. So the first movie, we put a whole bunch of dots on my face and we put a bunch of cameras and it literally captured the way my, my face moves and stuff so we can put on Sonic. And then this time, we always had three cameras on me, but without the dots. I didn't need the dots anymore. So they could take any way I move my whole body and incorporate it for the animators to use it. And I do. There's even like scenes where I even do like a, like a, like a John Ralphio type thing. And they like every little mannerism I have, they copy and put in the thing. And it's, it's awesome because I grew up watching this character playing video games. And so it's like, to see him have like little little silly things that I do, it's like a it's it's all it's like a dream. It's like a dream come true. It's like a dream. It's like a dream come true. <laughs> I don't like to touch. Me. I like to get as close as possible and pull right away. He's told not. To, I'm told not to touch. Well, that leads me on to my next question, James. You share a really lovely hug with Sonic in the film. Obviously, there's a lot of movie magic going on there, but it looks amazing. I would love to know in that moment what you were actually hugging. Oh, what was I actually hugging? I think there's different iterations of Sonic for when I'm doing my stuff from, from the, the most minimal a piece of tape, then it's a, a tennis ball, and then maybe a sandbag if you have to sell the weight of if you're holding Sonic. They do have these sort of stuffed animal-y kind of crude versions of, mm. of Sonic. I think maybe I was, and, and one that's it's mounted on a, uh, almost like a little tripod. I think I was hugging that. <laughs> uh, whatever it is it's a show lifeless me? show me it's a I see this say not as good as a real hug oh, bench shorts. See, that oh, is what i had to face great. oh my god that was great day what a beautiful him here don't touch me I have that to was fake an amazing it as well hug. but it's easier to fake if he's here yeah if that makes sense when you hug me does it feel like you're hugging a skeleton no you feel you feel uh healthy all right all right <laughs> Um, so we know that there is a third film in the pipeline, which is very exciting. And there's a pretty big Easter egg about who we can expect to appear in that film. So speaking of Ben, I know that you managed to sneak your own Easter egg into the first film with a Jim Carrey Dumb and Dumber reference. I did. Amazing. Did oh, either of you manage to sneak anything similar into this film? And are there any other Easter eggs we should be looking out for? Yes. There, oh, there's a bunch of Sonic specific Easter eggs in terms of how he uses his body or like mimics things from video games. But the ones that I snuck in is there's a Parks and Rec reference in this one. There's references to the way uh, there's there's a, a Dewey Duck reference uh, from other stuff that I voiced VO wise. Um, they're very kind and let me get away with stuff. And then sometimes I do stuff and they don't even know that I'm <laughs> doing a little thing. Um, and yes, in terms of if you like the video games, there's so much. Uh, so much from the video games that is put into this movie. This, if the first one felt like it was, you know, for the fans and, you know, to build a new audience, this one is to just reassure you that we're here to make everybody happy. But if you've played the game before, there's always a little something special for you in the film. Amazing. So I know you've both gamed before. And was there anything that you didn't get to do in the first film that you managed to do in this film? Go to Hawaii? Oh, uh, I didn't get to do that first time around. I didn't get to do it for either film. I don't know. I kind of got to kick my, my my feet up and do some chilling this time around. And let you gotta gallivant your way around the world a bit. Uh, didn't? Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't really think of anything I didn't get to do this time or did, got to do this. Time. You did so in that first movie. You were you did everything. Yeah, I was. The first movie was sort of like he and I on our road trip and you know, buddy buddy comedy. And this is like you know, we just got the, the green light to open this world up in a way more expansive way, which is going to be fun for the audience and the fans and everything. But, um, but yeah, it's like, we just kind of, if there was ever a, an invisible leash on Sonic, not that we would ever put a leash on you. Of course not. Uh, creatively, everything, just that leash is off this time around. So Sonic's going nuts and we're trying to just keep up with him. I just wanted to know if you could be Sonic Knuckles or Tails for a day, who would you be? Sonic. He even says it like Sonic so fast. Uh, I'd be Knuckles. Course. Yeah. Course. Yeah. You know, 
Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. you. Nice to meet you. you. Okay, bye. Our next guests need no introduction. They are literally out of this world. Say hello to Sonic the Hedgehog and his new buddy Tails. How does it feel to be back, Sonic, with a brand new movie? Please, I'm going by Blue Justice now. Trademark pending. And this is Tails. He's a double threat. Fluffy and adorable. Hi, Tails. So what do you bring to the table? I'm so nervous, Sonic. I've never been on camera before. You're doing great, buddy. Show them what you can do. Pretty cool, right? That is pretty cool. How is this film different to the first one? It is bigger and better in every way. And I'm in it! There's more action, more adventure, and since I have an agent now, there are perks. I have four words for you. Contractual chili dog breaks. Great. Um, So tell us about Knuckles now. He's new to the movie. What is he like? Well, he plays an echidna warrior sent to destroy me at any cost. And between us, I like to improv, keeping things loose. Knuckles goes method. And between takes, it it gets weird. Mm, That sounds interesting. We actually have him in the studio today. So Knuckles, do you want to say anything? I do not. See, that's more than we usually get out of him. Knuckles, how are you enjoying your visit to Earth? What's your favorite thing here? Your society is full of soft and undisciplined weaklings. However, I do enjoy the planet's grapes. The grapes are delicious. I'm going to have to agree with you there. And Sonic, how does it feel to save the world? Amazing. The kind of thing that only comes around once in a lifetime. Or twice. Maybe a third time if enough people watch the second time. So between you and Tails, who is better at video games? Uh, me? Tails tends to die a lot and then fly back in a few moments later. So I know you only have a few seconds left, but before you go, any chance I could get a quick selfie? Absolutely. (laughs) 